Plants support life on our planet by their photosynthetic capacity, providing not only food and oxygen, but also numerous other essential and renewable resources. But as sessile and autotrophic organisms, plants are challenged by constantly changing and adverse environmental conditions that affect their carbon and energy supply, for example by interfering, directly or indirectly, with photosynthesis, respiration or carbon allocation. These stress factors also significantly affect crop yield. Increasingly important challenges are drought and heat stress, but also flooding, which is associated with oxygen deprivation in the root system. So, for optimal growth and survival, plants, like other living organisms, need to rigorously monitor and maintain their energy balance. A key player in this process is the cellular energy sensing protein kinase SNRK1. SNRK1, or SNF-related kinase 1, belongs to a family of highly conserved eukaryotic fuel gauges, including yeast sucrose non-fermenting 1, or SNF1, and the animal AMP-activated kinase. These proteins typically function as complexes, with a catalytic alpha subunit, the actual kinase, and regulatory beta and gamma subunits. In plants, a unique hybrid beta-gamma protein functions as the gamma subunit. Upon activation by energy depletion, caused by very diverse stress conditions, the SNRK1 kinase will reset metabolism and growth to energy-saving mode, by repressing energy-consuming biosynthetic processes while activating energy-producing catabolic reactions. This involves both post-translational regulation of key metabolic enzymes and extensive transcriptional effects. Interestingly, plants seem to have adapted and fine-tuned this vital regulatory system to better fit their specific and more challenging lifestyle. Elucidation of both the conserved and plant-specific mechanisms is a major focus of our research. In addition to the important abiotic stress conditions already mentioned, also biotic stress increasingly adds to yield losses as a result of growth inhibition and damage by microbial pathogens, parasitic and competing plants, and different types of herbivores. In general, however, plants manage very well to defend themselves and their arsenal against these different pests extends far beyond the physical barriers of their rigid cell walls and external tissues. A significant progress has been made in our understanding of the molecular mechanisms involved in plant biotic interactions, including innate immunity, hormone signaling, and an extensive secondary metabolism. But while this conceptual understanding is already successfully used to breed and engineer disease resistance, the strong selective pressure on pathogens and the specificity of our gene-mediated defense require the development of a more quantitative and sustainable resistance. Consistent with the intimate link between metabolic status and defense, an increasing number of studies are now pointing to a key role for the SNRK1 kinase in the interaction with different types of pathogens and herbivores, identifying this pathway as a promising new target. A strong case for the direct involvement of SNRK1 signaling and plant biotic stress defense comes from studies on the Gemini viruses. Different viral proteins are found to interact with and inactivate SNRK1, indicating that metabolic reprogramming by SNRK1 indeed is an important component of plant antiviral defense. In addition, several studies also implicate SNRK1 signaling in the interaction with bacteria, fungal and oomycete organisms, and in response to herbivores, which obviously also have a dramatic effect on primary metabolism and source sink relations. The mechanisms involved are likely very diverse and probably differ depending on the specific beta system. In addition to direct growth inhibition, these might include a redirection of primary metabolism from growth to defense, autophagy and cell death, and alteration of secondary metabolic fluxes and hormone signaling. So, we believe that as a central metabolic regulator, SNRK1 is a promising target for modification and selection to obtain a more quantitative resistance, especially in combination with our gene mediated resistance. However, its central and vital function also increases chances of unwanted side effects on growth and fitness upon modification. This stresses the need for a more detailed understanding of both the upstream regulatory mechanisms and specific SNRK1 target processes involved in plant defense and immunity. We hope that this review will help in identifying the best strategies to achieve that goal.